Hi, it's Susan from Cutely Canadian. I want to talk to you today about a treat puzzle box that I built for Sherlock and Oliver. So what I did is I took information from Pinterest or from YouTube. I can't remember where I got it from exactly. But I just hot glued a whole bunch of toilet rolls into a shoe box. And then I glued the shoe box into the lid so that it would stand upright. So the cats couldn't knock it over. And so what I'm doing is putting in um, dehydrated salmon cubes. That's what my cats get for their treats. So this is their first introduction to the treat box. And Oliver is a little disgusted with me. He's like, uh, where's my treat woman? Give me my treat. He, he doesn't want to work for his treat. He just wants to uh, get the treat from me and not have to try to figure anything out. So he's, he's just staring at me like, where's the treat? Where? Where? I don't understand this concept. What are you doing? Where's the treat? Where's the treat? Come on, Mom. Where's the treat? Give me the treat. There you go, Oliver. There's a treat. Now find it. Find it. Where's the treat? No, I don't have it. Where's, no, Sherlock, it's not your turn yet. It's not your turn. Oliver, where's the treat? Where is it? Get it. <gasps> Yay! Wow. He even got a different treat. Okay. He's not dumb. He's just lazy. He didn't want to have to work for the treat. He just wanted to have the treat. So, he's figured it out. He's enjoying his little treat. But... He's still looking at me for the treats. <laughs> I am no longer the treat dispenser. So I called this a cat treat vending machine, and I understand it's not vending the treats. The cats are actually having to get the treats themselves, but I don't know why. I just keep calling it a cat treat vending machine because I, I guess because I think it's funny. But he's kind of getting it. He just doesn't understand it. There we go. Good job, Oliver. Good job. So this is how my cats are going to get their treats now every day instead of me just giving it to them. They're going to actually have to work for their treats and figure it out a little bit. He's getting the hang of it. Oops, sorry. Cats are in the background making noise as I do this voiceover. Shh. I'm doing a voiceover. Alright, so I think we will move on to Sherlock. Sherlock uh, got this a lot faster than Oliver did. Oliver just wanted me to give him the treat. Just give me the treat. He keeps looking at me. There you go, Oliver. Good job. Good boy. You figured it out. Oh, that's not fair. It's not supposed to bounce back into another tube. All right, here's Sherlock. Sherlock got it right away. He's like, I can smell treats. They're in these little tubes. I think I got it. And there's no treat in this one. Okay. Did somebody steal my treat? No? Okay. How about this one? Oh, 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 I found one. Good job, Sherlock. Good job. Yeah. He took to this much faster than Oliver did. Figured it out right away. No, I didn't put anything down there. Sherlock likes to chew on boxes. Wait till you see his decorating video. I already got that one. Try a different one. Find another one. <laughs> Alright, so after we've been doing this for a week, Oliver has finally figured out that I am not giving him treats anymore, that the box is giving him treats. So... He's gotten quite good at it. 
He understands the whole concept of having to find the treats. And it's not your turn, Sherlock. Wait your turn. Rover's turn first. Yeah, he's doing much better now. He's enjoying his little dehydrated salmon cubes. See? Easy peasy. He's got it now. And Sherlock is just the same. He had it figured out on day one. So, not much change here. He's got it all figured out. And here we go. Yay. Uh-oh. Sherlock wants to come help with the recording of the voiceover. Do you have something to say? No, just purr, purr. <laughs>